another day, another half a dollar. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, now the other side. Time to play with some clay. I love these 3D uh, photos or images uh, made with uh, some kind of computer com program. I don't know what the name of it is offhand because I don't use it myself. But I like it because it, you can get a good feel for the uh, shape of the muscles and stuff like that. And that helps in uh, creating uh, the muscles in the horse that you're working on. You can find those uh, type of photographs um, or images on Google. You just have to do a little search. All right, I'm going to get to work here. What a sculptor does basically is he shapes shadows. And so I have to adjust my light so that I can see the shadows of, that I'm creating. And that's what I just did. That's all it is. Uh, the original magician was a sculptor. They could take a object and turn it into something that inspired. Clear back to caveman days. Now, we don't pull rabbits out of our hat or uh, have you pick a card, but we do take blank air and fill it with something that was never was, that never was before. Let me rephrase that. You take blank air, empty air, and you fill it with something that never was before. Okay, that's it.
slow but sure. I'm just taking my time because these muscles in the shoulder of the horse are very complicated. I'm glad I had the uh, foundation set up, and I mean by foundation, I mean the skeletal structure set up ahead of time before I try to put the muscles on. I go into that uh, pretty much on the first DVD of the two DVD set of creating a horse from scratch. And uh, I don't even start putting muscles on until the second DVD. So you might want to check that video out if you're interested in sculpting horses. I don't know how much help it'll be. I'm not a qualified teacher by any means, but I think I give some pretty good advice on that DVD or those sets of DVDs. It certainly is taking advantage of the 50 smart years that I've been sculpting. Anyway, you can take a look at a review or a video review of that set of DVDs at a link that I've got in my video description below. As you sculpt, you'll learn that a light touch with the uh, wire tool, and if you don't have good wire tools, uh, it's it's really hard to sculpt well. Now I've seen young men on uh, YouTube who sculpt in monster clay, and they use nothing but a toothpick. Or I mean, I'm just blown away by their abilities. Anyway, it helps to have good tools. This wire tool that I'm using is uh, from Sculpture Depot. It's called the Agliptic Wire Tool. And they come in different sizes. Here's another one here. Here's another one here. And I've got several others, you know, someplace else. But they come in different Oh, here we go. All the ones with the colored uh, handles on them are glyptic tools. And you can get different size and different shaped wire ends uh, that you can put into them. Um, they have a little Allen wrench screw that you can see right there. Um, that you just tighten down on the uh, wire and it holds it in there solid. It's not like a... Uh, wood tool eventually these wires will break loose uh, because they're not uh, in their solid and you can't tighten them up and so you got to think of other ways to uh, take care of that but uh, you usually have to buy a new tool well these wires won't break on you and they certainly aren't if they start loosening up on you you just tighten up that uh, uh, little screw that uh, holds the uh, wire loop in your handle. That's the genius of these, uh, the design of these tools is you buy them once and you probably never have to buy another one again. This is the last horse in the uh, group of three that I'm doing. 
I may add another horse. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. But if I'm making this guy the last horse in that group, I'm thinking of the uh, story line that I'm going to create in this uh, piece. It's going to be a young warrior. I was going to have a intruder being chased away from the village or whatever, but I didn't like that idea. I like the idea of courage, a young man who's desiring to marry or be united with a young woman of the tribe, but he has to have a price to pay for the, that bride, and that price would be horses. And so he's gone out on a raid on his own to capture horses from a neighboring tribe or an enemy tribe, and he's bringing them back. And trying to not to be captured by the uh, warriors of that tribe. So I'm going to probably, let's see, get one of my bigger armatures. I got to figure out the pose to put him in. All right, that's going to be it for today. I'm just uh, trying to get the uh, body of the horse ready for the, the warrior. I'll pick this up Monday. No, Monday I can't. I gotta go to the... Get my eyes checked. So it'll be Tuesday before I get back here. I'm not gonna be here tomorrow. So... It's gonna be a busy three days. Alright, everybody. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.